Well, this is definitely going to be the comfort pick this week. And it honestly goes to show that when we trust our gut feeling, we are always right and never wrong. You hear that, DE? Bolter does exactly what a boulder would imagine to do. You shoot it, it slugs out your enemies. And then when it's evolved, it's like that exhibit meme where he's like, yo, dog, we heard you like bolts. So we gave you more bolts for your bolter to bolt enemies right into their bolts. I swear there's a pun to be made here. And as always, guys, timestamps are added within the video. When you get the boulder in Carden from the very steel path circuit missions every week, on reset there'll be two out of five available weapons for you to pick from so don't miss out on these options available this week because they will take a little while to cycle back around which bolter type did you put your incarnate on so to sum this up as brief as i can if you have a riven available and you're wanting some nice orange or red crit builds i would recommend going telus boltor but if you're looking for a hybrid approach then both Telus and Prime Boltors both work just fine, honestly. And if you want more of a status build, then I would recommend going for Prime. So for me, I went with Prime, mostly because I don't have a Riven. And honestly, both of these choices are relatively close in terms of picks. So honestly, pick whatever one you want. What evolutions should you take? As mentioned earlier, there will be a lot of close similarities here between both Bills. If you really want to squeeze min max and then, then take your time for a pick. Otherwise, these are the evolutions that I'm going to show for the bolt or prime route that I took. Evolution one, this is always given to you. A quick read will tell you how to transmute your weapon during combat to get your evolved upgrade. Evolution two, increase damage by four with a channeled warframe ability active. You gain four punch through and 40% accuracy increase. Or on kill, increase your damage by two and gain 20% ammo efficiency for five seconds, which stacks up to three times. So honestly, the second option here has more room to play with for a more generic usage and general gameplay that you encounter. The ammo efficiency doesn't exactly affect your evolved weapon state, but we're going to compare that to having a Warframe ability always active and channeled, then it's going to be more of a niche route to pick. This is a preference choice in my opinion. I went with option two for that damage increase. Evolution three, increase your projectile speed by 60%, increase your magazine capacity by a flat 20 or increase your reload speed by 60. Now you've got a sense of theme that a lot of this is going to be very specific to the user because honestly none of these options are technically bad. They all offer utility for the weapon to perform better. However I'm taking in mind that the magazine capacity nor the reload speeds will affect the weapon when evolved and transformed so for me I went with the projectile speeds. And finally evolution 4. Increase status chance by 10%, increase the critical and status chances by 10%, or increase the critical chance by 14%. Now, the problem here is that there's very little reason to take the first option, as the second option not only gives the first option, but also gives an increase to critical as well. So unless you are specifically wanting to avoid critical at all costs, then there's almost no reason not to pick option two over option one. And as for option three, well, it's a 4% increase in comparison to option two. Two, and although I won't heavily go into it in this video, uh, I will always say that if I'm increasing critical and it cannot accelerate my critical rate significantly, then I prefer to help the weapon in other areas. For the build that I will be running alongside these evolution choices, I will have over 100% critical chance with option two or even option three. And because it doesn't bolster it so much on option three, I went with option two to help that status chance for my Bolter Prime. What does the evolve shot look like? Bolts plenty of them add more multi-shot to your build and create more bolts don't just pin your enemies to walls make sure you bury them into walls instead and oh did i also mention that this thing shoots bolts what build should you take this is going to be specifically situational to every user depending on what choices you took now i'm just mostly and for the purpose of this video i'm mostly going to show you a critical route slash kind of hybrid route to go to give my weapon plenty of end game breathing and scaling that's what i'm focusing on damage I pop damage focusing on my arcane choice, Merciless, which scales with kills, so you need that activity output. Otherwise, if you don't have the selection, you don't want that activity output, and you're looking for more like flats or just more returns, then take whatever mods that you have available for you. Multi-shot bolts, more bolts. No, seriously, not enough bolts. I want your builds to act like the Persian army and block out the sun with a million bolts in the sky. Criticals, make sure the enemy know that they were hit hard and retreat isn't really an option for them either. Bury them, guys. No, bury them. Hunter munitions, who would have guessed it? Wait, 
What? <laughs> you guessed it? No way you did. What are you, some kind of cool wizard? I bet you wouldn't hit that like button and be even cooler than you already are. Go on. Do it. Faction mods. Hunter Munitions is all about critical builds, proc and slash, and then faction mods double dip. It gives you a like two for one deal on every dot proc that you're basically doing, so it's hard to not use these honestly. Elementals. Viral amplification is a necessity here. The fire rate of this weapon, due to it being an assault rifle, automatically means that we shoot more often than other types of weapons, and Viral wants to proc more often and build up more often so it can help slash do more damage per tick more often on enemies there's a theme there and this is pretty much going to be your go-to utility that mostly left me with prime shreds here as i mentioned earlier if you didn't have arcane merciless then what you could do is replace the prime shred here for your damage mod and you can also go ahead and gain fire rate from other places like your warframe ability or even a warframe arcane otherwise in my opinion this slot to me is more flexible than some of the other slots so take whatever you prefer Exilus. Now, it's a projectile weapon. This means it doesn't instantly connect with a surface when shot, unlike a hit scan weapon would. Ramping up your projectile speed is such good quality of life, especially the further away an enemy is for you. Speed up that travel time. Altar Incarnan is a saucy weapon. Overall, it's an improvement, and although it isn't going to be the best selection out of all of the choices we have so far, it's definitely a solid choice. To pick up if you're looking for a good weapon to scale into end game content and honestly that should be the focus here it's a great reliable gun to add to your arsenal and i'm not sure if i've said this before but this weapon shoots both 